I would like to quickly point out that John the Mouse video has a large selection of videos from North and South America for your viewing pleasure. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now let's get into the cheese of the matter. I want to talk about something that happens too often. At some point driving down the highway, you're going to break down. The odds are against you. I see week after week, someone will put their emergency warning triangles up the wrong way. Let me run through a couple different scenarios, but they all start out the same way. I will start out by showing the federal regulations about this matter. It can be found at Title 49, and it's under transportation, in subpart C, stopped commercial motor vehicles, code 392.22, emergency signals, stopped motor vehicles. I will have a link for you down below. Even if you don't have a commercial vehicle, it's still good to know about how to place these triangles the right way. It could save you from a lawsuit down the road. Consult your lawyer on additional laws for your state you're traveling in. After getting your vehicle stopped, you must immediately activate your vehicle's four-way flashers. That is very important in that it lets others know something is wrong. Gives them time to react, to move over, or slow down. Now the law gives you only 10 minutes to set out your warning device. So it probably would be a good idea if you know where they're at and so you don't have to dig for them. It might be a good idea too to wear a high visibility vest so people can see you a little bit better. The next part will vary depending on where you stop the vehicle. Let's start with a divided highway since I think it's the most common place to break down on the shoulder. This will also apply to one-way streets. The warning triangles need to be opened up. Now the safest thing to do is it on the side of the road or close to it. Now that it's open, it is ready to be placed on the correct spot. The first spot is behind the vehicle at four paces. That should be at a 10 feet or so. Now if you're a mouse, it may be a few more paces. Now it will be placed even to the edge of your vehicle near the running traffic. Now the next one will be 40 paces from that one. Placed in the center of the edge of the vehicle and the ditch line. Now the last one will be placed at another 40 paces from the last one. Just to point out, if you have small legs, you'll have to figure out how many steps it'll take to be a little over 200 feet away. If you have a hill, curve, or obstructions, you'll have to place them out to 250 to 500 feet away. Next, we will be talking about two-lane road. This has a little more to it. The first spot is behind the vehicle at four paces. That should be 10 feet, just like we talked about earlier. Now, just like before, the next one will be 40 paces from that one, placed in the center of the edge of the vehicle and the ditch line. Now, the last one is different. We will put that one in front, 40 paces from the vehicle, placed in the center of the edge of the vehicle and ditch line. If you have a hill, curve or obstruction in front or back, you'll have to move that triangle out 250 or 500 feet away depending on the situation. When you're ready to pick up your warning triangles, make sure you have your four-way flashers on and keep an eye on traffic. I don't want to see you getting injured. Just want to mention one more thing here. If you land yourself in the ditch and you don't have any of part of the vehicle on the road, or the edge of the road. There's no rules here stating you have to put up any triangles. But if that's the case, you probably would have some emergency vehicles coming to help you anyways. John the Mouse Travel Map is available for Google Maps. 
It will help plan your route to the locations of your favorite videos. It is free to use. I have the link below. Please visit the playlist tab for videos that I have sorted for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button 